Cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma is a common form of skin cancer that develops in squamous cells, which are found in the outer layers of the skin. The majority of the CSCC develops because of long-term and prolonged exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun or from tanning beds or lamps. When abnormal squamous cells multiply and grow, they will eventually cause a visible skin lesion or cancerous tumor. One in 20 Canadians will develop CSCC in their lifetime. The skin is the largest organ of the body and is made up of three layers, the epidermis, the dermis, and subcutaneous tissue. Commonly, skin cancer starts at the epidermis and can develop into different types of skin cancer depending on its location. When CSCC is caught early and removed, approximately 90% of people are cured. CSCC is treated very effectively through surgery, and the overall cure rate with surgical removal is very high. Other common treatment choices include topical treatments, photodynamic therapy, and radiation therapy. In those rare cases where CSCC spreads in the body, additional treatment options will be considered. Treatment selection depends on the lesions type, location and size, and each patient's characteristics and preferences. CSCC can occur on all areas of the body, but is typically seen in areas that have high exposure to the sun or UV rays. The skin surrounding these lesions can also show signs of sun damage, such as wrinkling, pigment changes, freckles, age spots, and loss of elasticity. Regular skin self-checks are important to identify a potential CSCC, which appear as a bump or lump on the skin that can feel rough and may become crusty, dome-shaped, or bleed, scaly red patches, open sores that don't heal or that heal in return, elevated growths with a central depression, lips that feel constantly dry and may have whitish color, lumps, or feel scaly. Since CSCC is highly treatable when found early, monthly self-monitoring of the skin is essential. In a mirror, make sure to examine your front, back, and sides with both your arms raised, your arms and hands, also checking your fingers, palms, and fingernails, the front and backs of your legs and feet, including the spaces between toes, toenails, and soles, the back of your neck and scalp, making sure to part and lift your hair if needed and your abdomen and buttocks. And lastly, an annual visit to a dermatologist or family doctor is strongly recommended.